In this episode of Aviation This Week, Cessna Sky Courier completes first flight, then JetNet reports first quarter aircraft sales, and Airbus begins work at its A220 production facility in Alabama. Textron Aviation on May 17th completed a 2-hour and 15-minute first flight of its new twin-utility turboprop, the Cessna Sky Courier. The test aircraft flew out of the company's East Campus Beachfield Airport in Wichita, Kansas, kicking off a new phase of the test program to validate its clean sheet design for entry into service. Power to the aircraft's electrical system was turned on in January. The Sky Courier is powered by PT-6A 65SC engines produced by Pratt & Whitney's Canadian operation. The airplane will be offered in various configurations including a 6,000-pound payload-capable freighter, a 19-seat passenger version, or a mixed passenger-freight combination, all based on one common platform. Featuring the Garmin G1000 Annex I avionics suite, the Sky Courier is expected to be rated for a maximum cruise speed of up to 200 knots and a maximum range of 900 nautical miles. Research group JetNet LLC released a range of aircraft inventory and sales statistics for the first quarter of 2020. Relative to last year's quarter, total sale transactions for aircraft and helicopters were down by 337 units, or 15.4% for all reported segments. The top two segment drops were in turbine helicopters, minus 144 units, and commercial airliner jets, minus 89 units together representing 69% of the total decline. JetNet points out, however, that full-sale transactions were up 7.1% for commercial turboprops, while piston aircraft also showed an increase of 5.6%. Looking at business jets specifically, JetNet notes that in 2009, as the Great Recession struck, there was an explosion of 62%, or 1,095 more business jets listed for sale, compared to the year prior. Reporting an increase in business jet units for sale in the first quarter of 2020 at 9.9%, JetNet notes this is a far cry from the spike of 2009 at 17.9%. The group pegs a healthy seller's market as being below 10%. Airbus on May 19th announced it has started work at its A220 commercial aircraft final assembly line in Mobile, Alabama. The aircraft maker broke ground on construction of the 270,000 square foot facility back in January 2019. The new assembly line is adjacent to its existing A320 family production line facility, where Airbus began producing A220s in August 2019. The new final assembly line will be focused on building both the A220-100 and A220-300 aircraft for U.S. customers, with Delta receiving the first mobile assembled A220. Airbus's Alabama production team also recently welcomed the first component assemblies destined to become the A220 for JetBlue, which in July 2018 ordered 60 A220 300s for delivery beginning in 2020. The A220's primary production facility and program headquarters are still located in Mirabel, Quebec. <laughs>